were you? I wasn't sure if you had a party or if you got murdered. Either way, it would have been nice to be invited. I went to spend a little time at a cabin. Who just goes to a cabin by themselves? Shut up! Did you bring Alec? You know Alec? I know he's not into me, but no, I see why. Alec did not come with me, and how do you know about him anyway? I'm not here to judge. There's nothing to judge. Let me check the docket. Hmm. May I refer you to the case of Tree versus Nancy and Alec? Tree alleges K I S S. Ugh, enough! Oh, fine, I believe you. I'm just jealous. ING. Goodbye. See you later. So good. Hi, Nancy. So, how am I on speakerphone? Yeah. Yes, Nancy, you are on the speakerphone. Oh. Mm hmm. I would like to remind. Shut up, Ned. Don't talk to Ned that way. Actually, at this uh, juncture, that might be warranted. Thank you, Ned. You're welcome. Shut up, Ned. Nancy, do you want to take a guess at why I'm upset with Ned right now? He broke into the house? Well, can't say that doesn't factor in. I'm upset with Ned because he let you talk him into something dangerous, and he wasn't smart enough to stop you. Whoa, hold on. All due respect, Mr. Drew, you're wrong. All due respect, Mr. Nickerson, you're a complete... Let me finish. I know how serious this is, but I also know Nancy. Better than her own father, I assume? As well as... But I can admit something you can't. And just what exactly is that? Nothing I say is going to stop Nancy, not this time. I understand why you don't want to help her, but that'll make things more dangerous for Nancy. She called me because she knows that my faith in her is stronger than my fear for her. So, now you can tell me to shut up. The poem is on the top shelf of the bedroom closet. Can you go get it and give me a moment with Nancy? Sure thing, Mr. Drew. Sorry I burgled your house. Nancy, I don't know what to do here, kiddo. I wish you would just come home. But I think Ned is right, and you are right to go to him. Thanks. I'll talk to you again soon. Alec must have had it delivered. Wait a second. Mom's stuff is missing. Did Alec take it? What did Ewan say was the code to get in here again? What's that? That is not normal. I need to take a closer look at her room. I need to use the key card Ewan gave me to activate this panel. That's new. It must be part of Cathedral security. Ah, oh, Nancy, what's up? Pretty impressive, huh? Are you my cathedral contact? My code name is Yun. And before you ask, no, I did not choose it. Would I've chosen something better? Shadow, blizzard, or some better word that doesn't also sound like a name you'd give a horse. Can you look into Alec Fell for me? Aye. 
Do you have anything that could help me keep an eye on Bridget? Well, not as such. Unless... You're not afraid of heights now, are you? Check this out. Find a bow, and you can use this to zip across the courtyard. It's not safe, but it is fun. Why was the attack centered on Glasgow? We wondered that as well. It took us too long. We had that special vanity that made us think our lives were more important than anyone else's. And that blinded us to the obvious. It was Glasgow because someone here wanted to play a risky game. When Revenant sees someone they think could be pointed in a direction they find advantageous, they drop a trail of breadcrumbs. Is there anything you could tell me about Bridget? That girl upstairs. I ran her background on a hunch. And? Nothing. Try not to let her become collateral damage. She seems sweet. Is Cathedral a part of MI5? It is, and yet it is not. I understand. And yet you don't. I love duplicity. And yet... You hate it. There's my girl. I like your style. But... No, I genuinely do. What exactly do you do here? In the intelligence game, the dumb ones get manipulated, and the clever ones get buried. And the particularly clever ones? Well, they win, of course. But that's most likely not you. No offense, it's not me either. The creepy messages I'm getting on my phone. Who do you think is sending them? I've been trying to track the source of the message. Grats await the mysterious stranger who coded that monstrosity. Do you know who Kate Drew was? Aye, we all do. I know she's your mom. You can call her that. So she really wasn't a reporter? She was, and was quite good. But she was also one of ours. A spy? Aye. What or who was she spying on? Figured you'd want to know. I gave you basic clearance on the archives. There is a station set up for you along the wall. How did my mom stop the attack? Your mother isolated the man who was orchestrating the attack. And of course he knew nothing, and had nothing, that could lead back to Revenant. All he could say was whatever he needed had a way of appearing. And the same person never visited him twice. No one knew what they were bringing him, or why. It was perfectly, and alarmingly, decentralized. So what exactly does Revenant want? Back in the days of mud huts and the like, some years the harvests would be light. Sometimes, when that happened, two kings would meet and plan a war to thin their flocks. Then, no one would ever know of their failures. That is what Revenant wants. They don't want to take over the world. They want to keep it. Why are you my contact? In order to do my job, I have to have top information clearance. But I'm not an agent per se. Civilian liaison work often falls to me. If you're asking what that means, you may not like the answer. May not? Absolutely won't. You're not considered a player. You're considered an asset. You're more or less on your own. You get to chat with me, and that's it. Are you the one who sent me the message to come to Scotland? No. Do you know who did? Nope. Do you know why? Yes, in fact I do. Someone thinks you have special insight into the secrets that were lost with Kate Drew. I don't. Well, perhaps you do. How about you get caught up on the basics first before making up your mind? Who is Revenant? We do not know exactly. That's just what we're calling him. I'm seeing a pattern. That pattern is called chaos. Simply put, they're the bad guys. Less simply put? In this game of cat and mouse, we thought we were the cat. But you're the mouse. We're the mouse. They're the trap. What is your role with Cathedral? I'm the watcher in the wires. I protect the status quo. And, for the time being, you. What do you mean by protect the status quo? Society rides on a rail, like a trolley. The rails are solid and modest and predictable. Those are your disc types. They get married, they have some kids, buy a house they can't afford, and never again are they unpredictable, or interesting, or alive even. But the catenary line, the third rail, that's what drives the world forward. 
people that have a charge running through them. They move the world forward. Or they try to destroy it. I make sure that won't happen. See you around. Bye. Cool spy gear. It's like a gate of some kind. for a new test. Cut the lines on the trash compactor at the station, and you will be rewarded. Done. I guess now I just wait. Hmm? 
What message? Thank you for finding my suitcase. I hope you don't mind. I took a peek inside to confirm it was yours. I gotta say, if you're so attached to your mom's jeans, why did you take them on an international flight? Those are mine. Oh. Yeah. Right. You look nice today, he said with a hopeful smile. Let's just move on. There was a poem in my suitcase. It's missing. What are you talking about? There was nothing like that in there? Not that I saw. Why are you still hanging out here? I'm a big fan of announcements. And I gotta love a shrill beep now and again. Wait for it. Huh? Who doesn't? I need to kick off at a second sometimes, and I get sick of rushing over. Then, it grew on me. I like watching travelers. Trying to imagine the worlds they carry with them in their heads. And I got a thing for the crumpets here. I think I could have been a great professor of psychology, but I never could sit in a chair, now could I? Have you been sending me messages? No. And the way you say that makes me think these aren't your standard messages. You could say that. If anyone is threatening you, I need to know right now. Why? Because. Common courtesy. I don't find that particularly reassuring since I'm not sure who is after me. Right, I've been meaning to ask you about that. Right now, you and I have about the same amount of information. Unless you actually know something. Eh? Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. What do you do? Huh. How what? I don't really know. I guess I'm something of a detective. Freelance. That's the coolest! Do you have a gun? No, I don't. A badge? Nope. A trilby? Sorry. Hmm. You should at least have a proper trench and trilby if you're going to be in the detective game. How did you end up becoming a detective? I guess I just have trouble leaving questions unanswered. Unless you're talking to me. Touché. Thank you very much. Have you ever heard of Revenant? Are you spy or something? No, just something I overheard. Oh yeah. I guess a spy wouldn't just ask a stranger that. Well, not a good spy. Revenant's supposed to be this terrorist organization. But they tapped out ten years ago. Now it's just the psychos that talk about him. Keeps their psychotic minds busy, which is either very good or very bad. Talk to you later. Bye. Mom's copy of Jabberwocky. Now to figure out what it means. <laughs>